to prove himself. Vindicate. and his forehand is just as detrimental as a lot of pops in there. He's now doing something. Serving absolutely all around play. Dictating a tempo for that round. Beautiful rally there. Good defense from Pokey. The opponent fall back so hard. Digging out of trouble. A lot of ground as well. first game, allowing his opponent to come back. And that is actually one of his, uh, so to speak, shortcomings according to Zhang. Zhang the Zhang, I and myself. On the other hand, let it out. Then they've done that in many ways. We have to give him many more opportunities from now on, more than before. Be made to believe that Marlon is the best. Who always has been very dominating on court. But if you ask him, Jiku. Once again for Marlon. Check it out. Covering his forehand. He was right there. in the first two games. We'll be back with the men singles semi-final shortly. Even harder in order to get back to level the score if possible. Making a lot of progress with his well-deceived strippers now. Again, good return from Otto. Launching his forehand spin. He's got speed, he's got experience working in his favor. Wow. Unleash a power there from Amano. He needs to be on board in this game. Quarterfinal Koki and his teammate, Mr. Dari. Koki Niwa. Dealing with the current world number one. And we shall return very shortly. Let's see if Konki Niwa can bounce back in the beginning stage, beginning stage of the fourth game. This is the first men's semi-finals between Marlon and Konki Niwa of Japan. And a 
force. This next stage is definitely trying to... Very awkward. So comprehensive. Quick reaction from Marlon. Look at that. Immediately adjusting her. So a timeout has been called by the Japanese side. In his arsenal. Fake move. Forcing his bottom being far away from the table. defeated in semi-finals by uh, Wang Hao. Have an upper hand. French. Koki was right down in the middle. Look at that backhand. Gained a few points to stay alive in this game. Comfortable and confident. Chance to kill. He went for the killer. Yet Koki missed that one. Another unforced error, which was absolutely costly. Check out the last point. Blocking well. He went for that killer. It went too long though. He didn't catch the edge.